how will you deal with the death of your mother? You may not know how you will deal with something like that, but I certainly do. You may be subjectively happy with your life. I'm happy for you. I bet you have nothing to worry about, no struggles and no responsibilities. When you compare your life to someone who disciplines himself every hour of every day, you would say that they have a pretty awful life compared to you. They do hard things every day, while you do easy things every day. But the difference in how you will deal with the death of your mother compared to the man who disciplines himself every day will be like night and day. You can't bring yourself to wake up at a set time every single day even if you're only a bit tired. And you can't sit still and be bored for two and a half minutes without wanting to flood your brain with mind-numbing social media use. So how will you deal with the death of your mother? You won't. What you will do is break apart from the inside out, worry, complain, and live an even worse life than before. While the man who disciplines himself every day will be used to hard times and will be smart and experienced enough to know how to deal with hard times. And you would be like that man too. But your everyday choices in life led you to become nearly the exact opposite kind of man that he is. I feel sorry for you having such an easy life. Understand that comfort now means pain in the future and pain now means comfort in the future. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. The strong men who discipline themselves every single day are used to feeling self-inflicted pain and overcoming it every single day. Which means that when hard times come, it will be like a spa treatment for them since they have lived through decades of painful discipline. But for you, you will break down from the inside. You can't even wash dirty dishes without throwing the tantrum. So when the hard times do inevitably come, it will be like the world has fallen apart for you because you haven't experienced any pain at all in your life. It's very likely that you'll become resentful to the world because you'll feel like you haven't done anything wrong to deserve all this pain and you will soon start being hateful towards everything. And not as likely, but you may also become suicidal. The pain that you would be going through would simply be too much. And because you have no meaning in life, and you can't understand the reason behind all of this pain, you may strongly consider it to end your life. Remember that when you overcome resistance, you absorb its power and become stronger. And every single bit of resistance or pain that happens in your life gives you ability to grow and become stronger. And I really hope that you don't go down this resentful and maybe suicidal path. Your life is incredibly important. And I hope that you can see with you being in it, along with making some positive changes to your life, would make the world a much, much better place. Discipline means freedom to do anything that you want. Disciplining yourself every day doesn't mean that you have no time or energy to do things that you actually want. Well, it's actually not disciplining yourself and being comfortable every day that leaves you no time or energy to do anything that you actually want. You go to the kitchen to look for snacks and then start eating them. While the strong man who disciplines himself only chooses not to do that. He could do the exact same as you if he wishes. However, the strong man who disciplines himself every day chooses to go out for a run while it's pouring down rain. You could never do that in a hundred years, no matter how hard you want to do. Freedom means being able to choose what is good for oneself. Discipline is the inner awareness and control over one's reconciliation between one's own needs and the environment's needs. And without discipline, a person is ultimately unable to do what he wants. You cannot do what is good for yourself because you don't have the discipline to do so. Or you may not even truly know what is good for you. So stop living comfortably and start living a life of discipline and responsibility. And you will reap the rewards when the hard times come. Be able to overcome the resistance of hard times and be able to help everyone weaker than you who comes to you for help. And most importantly, you will be able to control yourself, cope and grow stronger when the death of your mother comes.